We have literally thousands of skilled machine tool operators and other craftsmen turning out our products. Upon them rests a great responsibility. Hi, I, my name is Jan Jockham, and I was an employee at Ellis Chalmers Tractor Plant between 1973 to 1985. This is a spot where Arnold, Harry, and I put together the instrument panels. Ar Arnold put the ones together for the 200, 185, and 175. Harry and I did the 7000 series tractors. I only had to make 10 instrument panels, and plus I had to load batteries and put the rock guards on, the new family, and uh, sometimes the plate on the inside the tractor. And the view I saw when I looked out the window was right here. See this view, when I went by the window to put the padding, glue the padding onto the protective frame tractors, you know, this is the view I saw out the window. And it was a nice, beautiful day. You always think, boy, I'd love to be outside instead of working, but I enjoyed working at those traumas. This spot is where the employee entrance was to the tractor shop. And uh, at one time, there, there was a turnstile here, and on weekends you had a call on the intercom to have the guard let you in. And during uh, working between eight and four, uh, eight o'clock, they had it open all the time. But one time we were leaving uh, this factory and a lady who was uh, mad at her man for cheating on her was waiting with a gun and started firing through the windows just before everyone was approaching the side door to exit the plant and come out through the gate. So everyone kind of heard the gunshot and heard her screaming so everyone ran and hid behind something and eventually they called the police to, to get her, stop her from shooting someone, hurting someone but that was one of the interesting things. And this, this entrance, uh, sometimes when we came to work, uh, there's the, during the presidential campaign, we had President Carter stand here to greet us, Mayor Meyer, and uh, we have uh, George Wallace was here, and Utah was here, and even uh, Edward Kennedy was here. And uh, we, they usually stood in our way and wanted us to shake their hand, and all the TV stations were filming them. But this is where the, the pedestrian gate, employee gate, and the parking was across the street where the Walmart store is. To my uh, left used to be uh, tractor one, three, and four in a, in a parse area, and back there was heat treat plant, and, uh, and over there is the guard shack. And this Washington Avenue used to be the gate number seven. We parked the tractors after they came off the assembly line over here, and uh, there was five digits on the back of the SMV sign, which told us, you know, they told us, they gave us a ticket, this tractor needs to repair, go find it. We had to go in the yard and find those five numbers on the back of the SMV signs to be repaired. Right over here, this way used to be the, the, uh, uh, the conveyor line to bring over the rear tires to be put on the tractors in tractor number four. That it went into tractor tractor number three building where they they uh, put the tires on the rims and uh, and they stored most of the 
parts between the two buildings and, and also tr tr tractor number three is the a kind of a machine shop uh, where the tool crib was and where most of the they filled the batteries before they brought the batteries to be loaded on the line. They filled them in the, in the spot in there too. They got the 6,000 shipped over, came in on a crate and they, uh, they painted uh, the engine and the, and the chassis, and the rear end, I don't know, transmission rear end, I don't know what you would call it, the final assembly. But uh, anyways, they uh, they took the tractor out of a crate, and uh, what it was is the engine and the transmission and the rear end, and uh, they painted it black, and I had to put it together all the sheet metal on it, uh, which was orange, corporate orange, and then once I had it all together, they had uh, expeditors working with me and. Uh, and uh, engineering came down and asked me questions about the tractor and uh, they gave me a, an expediter to go get the parts and as they were getting the parts they were putting them on the line somewhere when production started and once the tractors were together I went to the repair floor and then my job was uh, to check, check the tractor over make sure it didn't have any leaks took the black light to it and then uh, I had to shake it down, and it, we we drove it down this this direction towards the there's a lake back there and railroad tracks, and there used to be railroad tracks here that led into the foundry, and so and so I took the the tractor across the railroad tracks back and forth and uh, and the behind uh, the building way to the east. There was a hill on the back of the, the building, and I drove it down the hill and came back up the hill. Then I took it over the tracks again. And then during the time, they, they told me to shake it down. And if I came back too early, they said, take it out for another couple hours. Okay, and when I was going over the railroad tracks, one of the rear wheels came off, and the tractor uh, dropped to the pavement. And so, uh, we had engineering came out, and they 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 took care of uh, putting putting a tire back uh, wheel back on her, and uh, they found out that uh, the the lug, lug nuts weren't pre uh, pressure treated or wasn't heat treated properly, and uh, another time uh, we got the front wheel assist on a six thousand. We've rediscovered, I discovered taking it out on the shakedown that the, one of the wheels would hit the frame during, uh, during a turn. So I told engineering about that and so the tractor disappeared for the rest of the day and in the morning when I came to work they told me to go drive it around again. Over the night, night hours they uh, took it apart and re-welded the, the front end so that, that that problem didn't exist anymore. So, and and I took the time doing the shakedown, not only shaking down the tractor, is but I, I drove around the whole facility and looking, you know, at the old buildings in the backside, up and down the rows, and where the foundry used to be in front of me. You know, there used, was tracks there. I used to follow them down there and uh, and then, once I got done shaking it down, I took it back to the repair floor and I had to check it for leaks and make any repairs that were necessary. And once the tractor was done, the engineering took it and I started all over, building another one on the, on the line. So when, when production started, I had to work with the assemblers, showing them how to put the 8,000 together and the 6,000 together. To my west side, I see a pile of stone, and I know that's where the engineering building was. And to the northwest, I look at where Tractor 4 used to be. I spent my, I spent 1973 to uh, 1985 
working in the bill and it's sad to see it gone, but I guess that's progress. The two, two buildings are replaced at tractor shop. You wish they were still making Ellis Chalmers tractors here? Yeah, it would have been nice if they would have been able to retool, come up with a, build a new facility. Uh, the buildings, everything that was uh, west of me behind where tractor was, they could easily level and build a whole new new plant. Well, I, I miss working on uh, the tractor line and it was, it's sad to see Ellis Chalmers gone. But I'm, I'm glad that uh, tractors are still out there and people love them.